Good morning, my high performers. Megan Lynn here. Um, I recently started reading this book called High Performance Habits. It's by Brendan Burchard. Um, really, really insightful, good stuff. Um, if you are a high performer, I think you may be a high performer. Um, how they um, how they uh, claim what a high performer is is somebody who sustains um, high performance for the long term. So it's not somebody who. Um, a lot of people do um, perform very highly and then they peak or they burn out or they, um, they're afraid to take the next step or um, they're not satisfied or fulfilled with what they're doing. So um, I can say I've managed upwards of 50 people plus. Um, I have GM'd, I have business development in my background, I have very high drive sales in my background. Um, so no surprise, if you guys go to his website, um, you can take a free high performance test um, and answer it honestly, guys. Honestly, if you're not if you're not answering the, these questions honestly, you're not a high performer um, because high performers are very insightful and they know themselves and they're honest. So um, I can say if you go, it's Brendan Burchard. It's a very good book. I've never had so many aha, this is me kind of moments from any other, um, uh, not any other book, but book books in a while, but um, I wanted to talk about high performers, why your boss sucks, and why um, why high performers are not bosses, they're leaders, and I know that um, these are just habits of high performers, so if you guys can, um, if you guys want to go take the test, and, and it'll show you which, which things that you need to focus on a little bit more. Um, so the difference between good leadership and a boss, so um, High performers are, <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, monsoon season has my voice like all whacked out. <clears throat> high performers, um, some of the key traits with them. High performers are very into adaptability. They're very into cultivating their team, their staff, their whoever. Um, they see people as peers, not as what their actual status is. So I am going to go into a situation talking to the CEO of the company and talking to the janitor the same. Um, high performers see everybody's value in a situation and this is what allows them to be successful. So um, going into it, um, they also have a lot of purpose. When they go to work, there's a sense of purpose that comes with it. And I'm not saying like passion, like you're passionate about what you do. You have a sense of belonging there and what your role is there. And um, High performers don't necessarily, I mean, high performers do work very hard, um, but the way that they ab avoid burnout, high performers tend to be able to manipulate where their energy is best put in certain situations. So I, they can very quickly strategically assess, um, you know, what the maximum amount of output I need to get the most rewards and what the minimum amount of output and what they do is they kind of not manipulate it, but they do um, move their energy and move their talents in the areas that they are going to get recognized the most and also um, where they're needed the most because high performers do have a high sense of, um, it's almost like a soccer team. They know their role on the team and they perform it with vigor. So um, also having a high performer as your boss, I can tell you it's gonna be unlike anything ever experienced um, I can't say I've had to fire people and they've actually thanked me and said that I was the best boss that they had ever had and it's it's just really cool um, the only reason a high performer I mean unless you're just straight up not doing your job is if they can't cultivate or mentor you they will try their damnedest to mentor you to cultivate you to um, help you evolve and grow um, they don't see you as a lower level in status they see you as potential so they are going to want to <clears throat> um, build up their team as much as they can and it's because they genuinely want you to be successful it's not um, high performers have like I said a sense of purpose a sense of knowing they're outside themselves it's it's for the greater good of the whole so um, you know when I took the test it was no surprise to me that I was a high performer but um, what I can say with a lot of bosses and why they fail and um, I, a lot of it has to do with certainty and there is no, I can't, I don't know how to phrase this, there's no more uncertainty in being certain. Um, high performers are always questioning things. Um, and I can say,
I, if you took my secretary and she came to me with a question and I was pretty certain what the answer was, but she questioned me on it, a high performer is going to run towards that challenge and they're going to go investigate it. They're not going to say, you know, it's, it's black or white or it's, no, it's this, I'm positive. If they'll question things and because they question things so much, they learn a lot because going back and investigating that one question that I was pretty sure I knew the answer to um, will also help them learn so much more that they wouldn't have learned if they had not been in a questioning nature. So um, they will always consider your opinion too. They see the value in everybody, what everybody brings to the table. Um, they are here to empower. So high performers empower their team. Um, they honestly uplift what, and, and they honestly can drag out um, what people's true talents are and, and cultivate that. And, um, you know, they're very passionate about um, raising people up. So this is why a lot of the time, um, I, I have a lot of people around me who, people around me who gravitate towards me because I seem so sure of, so certain. Um, it's not certain, but I am certain of who I am. We're very self-aware of who we are, what our abilities are, what our capabilities are. Um, high performers also run towards challenge. So this is how at, you know, when you get promoted or you're you're on the verge of getting a promotion and um, a lot of people are very unhappy or very uncertain when they're going to the next level of something. Um, and that's because they've created a comfortableness where they are. Um, a high performer will never run away from a challenge. They will never, not back down. They back down when they have to. They're very, you, high performers are very, um, they know what their place is, but, um, you know, they're never afraid of the next challenge. Um, in fact, they run towards challenge. They run towards um, things with veracity and, and uh, excitement. Um, and I can say if it's a situation I haven't dealt in before, um, anything that's uncomfortable to them, they thrive in the uncomfortable. They will run towards a situation they've never been in before. They will, they just know what their capabilities are and they know that they can figure things out fast. So, um, high performance people honestly are very good to have around you. Um, they're not your typical boss. They are special. Um, it's about 15% of the population are high performers. They, um, they honestly, do not burn out and do not get afraid because they run towards challenge. They know what their capabilities are. They know that they can just figure things out and they genuinely care about others. They care, they have a sense of purpose for showing up to work that day, um, whether it's to help people. Um, you know, they, they, don't, they don't stay in jobs that they don't like um, and they won't stay at a job that they don't feel purpose for. So um, I can say for mine, my purpose has always been helping people. Um, I really, revel in people unlocking their true God-given talents. Um, and it's funny because I was talking to my friend and um, encouraged her. She is, she wanted to start a blog and she's like, you know, who would want to listen to me, this, that, or the other? And I told her, like, you're, you're a manifester. Like, go share your thoughts with the world. Like, you never know what will come of that. You know what I mean? And, and instead of us seeing people as weak or seeing people as we see we see every person as opportunity. Um, we see potential. Um, we can see potential in, in little things that other people overlook. We see potential in. So um, it's a very optimistic kind of trait. Um, I can say if you are a high performer, um, good people to have around. So if you guys have any questions about high performers, anything like that, um, I would go take the test. It's like $97 and you get a free freaking test and then um, I bought I bought the book myself but it's amazing because it just talks about certainty and um, you know you know it all boss that you have that doesn't know jack shit about anything um, this uh, this well this uh, book is a lot of aha moments and I think he's actually doing a, um, a promotion right now too so yeah if you guys have any questions about high performers I am one so feel free to drop comments anything like that um, and uh, we'll talk soon, guys. Have a good one. Bye.